first, more violence in the New York City subway system. Late this afternoon, a 60-year-old man stabbed on a number four train in the Bronx. I went to Sue's reporter Josh Eininger, live in the concourse section with the latest violence in the subway. Josh. Yeah, Bill, Sandra, you could see some police officers here on the platform here at the 167th Street 4 stop as presence, but there were quite a few more cops here in the last hour or two. We could show you video uh, from the Citizen app as police officers were on the platform trying to piece together this latest burst of violence on the subway. This was a downtown 4 train just a little bit after 3 o'clock this afternoon. A 60-year-old man was stabbed in what he described as a dispute with another strap hanger. That's really all police had to go on because he was not uh, all that helpful in uh, cooperating with detectives and investigating this matter further. The victim is, we are told, suffering a non-life-threatening injury, was taken to an area hospital as detectives do try to piece together what this was all about. But it was, of course, just the latest in a series of fairly high-profile and violent incidents on the subway that have led to a surge of more than a 1,000 additional NYPD officers in the subway. Uh, all across the city. Back here live on the platform here at the 167th Street uh, Forest Stop. Uh, a few police officers here for presence, and the rush hour continues as this investigation gets underway. We're live at the concourse section of the Bronx. Josh Eininger, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.